Hello guys, we have had a fantastic year at the School of Photography, so I thought I would make a nice little video for you to show you all of our best bits. So here we are with the best of the School of Photography 2016. So I want to start by showing you some of the best photography from our students, from certain lessons and tasks that we've taught from over the year. The first one I want to show you is from a composition task and it's by Leslie Hall and here it is here. So this was a response to a lesson that we did in composition and I've chose this one for its sheer creativity. We was looking at framing within a frame. Now composition is something that you don't need any technical knowledge for. You just need to be creative with using your frame. And Leslie here has done a really, really good job of that. So I chose this one as my favorite composition task shot of the year. The next shot I wanna show you is a response to a shutter speed lesson that we did. And it's by Darren Leonard. And what you can see here is a bottle of champagne with a nice light trail going from that into a champagne glass. And I really like it because it's a good control of using shutter speeds. It's actually a really long exposure. That's how this has been taken. And it was a really good response from what we learned from that shutter speed afternoon. And I just like it. It's just a nice, crisp, uh, simple kind of shot that looks really, really creative. So that is my favorite shot from all of the shutter speed tasks that we did. And this next shot I wanna show you is by Dave Christian. And it was, as, it was in response to how to control depth of field. Now, there's three elements to controlling depth of field, and this shot is a really good example that shows the use of all three of them. So I gave the theme of distance for this shot, and I asked students to show me distance in their shots. Now, normally when you set that theme, you get um, a long picture of a pathway or a fence going off into the distance. But Dave's done it differently. He's done it very creatively. He shot through the grass and he's got a really shallow depth of field. But you can clearly see that there is distance in the shot. So I really like this one because it was a different way to show that theme of distance and show all of them elements of controlling depth of field. So it's a really good picture and I really like it. So that's my choice for depth of field shot or the best depth of field shot of this year. And the next picture I wanna show you is in response to the theme of abstract because it's not just about technical control photography, it's also about the art of photography and being creative. So I set the theme of abstract now abstract means non-representation just think of a picasso picture you know you can't recognize what it is it is abstract well you can do the same thing with photography so this theme was to control the technical aspects of photography and be artistic at the same time so this picture is by aaron hayhoe and it shows some rusty chains but you can see that he's got the technical aspect of photography nailed down. It's got an extreme shallow depth of field. It's these rusty chains. It's very bright in color. It's been saturated, so it looks really nice. And it is one of them shots that you can hardly recognize what it is. It's abstract, but it still looks really good. So this is my chosen best abstract shot from 2016. So we also teach Photoshop here at the School of Photography and I've chosen one picture to represent our courses that we've done this year and it's this one here by Rachel Jacobson and I've chosen it because it's a really simple use of Photoshop. A lot of people are very scared of Photoshop, you know, it's this big powerful program, which it is. But just by learning a few little techniques, you can create really beautiful images. And this is a technique called color popping, or sometimes it's called selective color. I've got a whole tutorial on YouTube for that, and I'll put a link to that here now, so you can go to that if you want to. But it's a really, really simple and effective technique so i have chosen this one because it's a beautiful picture simply made and i just want to make the point that you shouldn't be scared of photoshop with just a, a little bit of knowledge you can create stunning images 
The next picture I've chosen is this one here and I've chosen this picture to represent our studio lighting courses that we do. Now it might not be a big fancy fashion studio lighting shop but what it shows and the reason I've chosen it is because it shows real control over lighting and, and exposure. What you can see is the back of the hair there is perfectly exposed and on the front of the face is this real soft flicker of gold light. Now this shot was taken with one light, one studio light, and I think that's why I've chosen it, because it's just got that perfect exposure, perfect lighting, the background is jet black, there's no Photoshop going on, this is just a, a shot from camera, and the reason we've got it nicely exposed is because it was a real good control of studio lighting. So that's why I've chosen this one for the studio lighting courses. Another thing that I'm really proud of this year is our social media presence has just shot up over a thousand more likes on Facebook and the engagement in our posts are really, really good. We've also started a YouTube channel this year. We've been uploading for around six months to a year now. It's been really good. We're getting lots of views, lots of positive comments. So we must be doing something right there. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do. And I want to finish on telling you about things that I really personally have liked this year, and that is running my social events and our mini photography breaks where we go away for a weekend and stuff like that. Now we've done loads this year and I just want to pick up on two. The first one is the photographing fireworks night that we did. Now that was a freezing cold night, but it was well attended, it was sold out. There was lots of people there and everyone braved that cold weather to get them shots and the results that we got were fantastic. And here's one from someone called Gary Brown and this was the one that got the most likes on the Facebook so you guys were liking the shots that the students were taking on Facebook and this one was the one that got the most likes and it's a fantastic shot and that everybody that attended got some really really good results and for me as a teacher that's what makes me happy so that that evening of was really successful I thought some brilliant results now I just want to end this tutorial in 2016 by saying an absolute massive thank you to you guys. The School of Photography wouldn't be what it is if it wasn't for you. So a few years ago, I had a vision to start this photography learning community and that vision is being met and it's being met because of you guys. Anyone who has liked or shared a post on Facebook, YouTube, whatever, or even come to our courses, it's because of you that the School of Photography is a success and I cannot thank you enough for that, I really can't. And all that's left for me to say is Happy New Year, let's bring on 2017 and remember, learn more at the School of Photography.